Hey guys, how you guys doing? This is Ray, and in this video, I want to discuss zero latency direct monitoring. Somebody asked me the other day, is it really important? I told the person, absolutely. And then they asked, how do you set it up? And it all depends on the hardware. If you're using a Pro Tools HD setup, then it's not a problem at all, or a native system. But if you're using like an Mbox or a Project Mix IO, there's a little option on it that will allow you to use direct monitoring, which is pretty cool. On the Mbox, it used to come with a mix knob. I'm not really sure about the new Mboxes. I know it has the option, I just don't know how it works. I've never used one of the new Mboxes. Now on the Project Mix, it has an AB button on it, and I could set that up for direct monitoring. So let's say your car did not have direct monitoring. This is what you would normally do. You would go to Setup, Playback Engine, your buffer size, bring it as low as possible. And in this case, my system's only able to go to 64 samples. But the problem with this is on some systems, depending how the system is set up, if you have a lot of things going on in your session, a lot of instrument tracks, a lot of plugins, you might get an error saying the system ran out of CPU power. In order to continue, you have to increase your uh, buffer settings. So you would do that and let's say you end up at 1024 samples. Problem with that, you're introducing so much delay. So imagine talking into your microphone and not hearing it right away on your headphones. That's basically what's happening. And it's impossible to work like that. That's why you wanna look for an audio interface that has direct monitoring. Now I have it on. So what I would do, I would mute the track and I would start recording. And that way I won't have any problems with latency. If I didn't have that option, then you will have all that latency issue. If you don't have direct monitoring, I'm gonna show you kind of what happens. I'm gonna unmute this track right here and you're gonna hear two signals. You can hear the direct signal and then you're gonna hear the signal that's coming out of Pro Tools. All, All right, right guys, guys, I don't know if you hear that. that. It, it sounds, sounds really weird, weird but... but... So yeah, that's both signals in together. So I would advise you to look at your sound card, check your settings out, and see if it supports it. I can make a video for you guys showing you how to set up an M audio interface for zero latency. If you guys are interested, just let me know. I also have an Mbox, so I could show you as well how to do it with an Mbox. So post in the bottom and let me know if you guys are interested. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people know about this already, so that's why I'm not really going through the settings. But I just wanted to make a video just to see if any of you guys are having issues with this. If you are, then I'll definitely dedicate a video into uh, the software and show you guys how to set it up. But anyway, guys, this is Ray. I hope you enjoy the video. Later.